Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I want to show you how to create and how to update what's called a metadata template. I use a metadata template or preset to automatically add copyright and contact information into the data that tags along with my photos. So as people come across my photos out on the web, for example, there's data there that tells people that I own the photos and how to get in touch with me. Now, when you add this information into the metadata or the data about your photos, it doesn't automatically appear on your photos. For that, you'll need to add a watermark. Now, to create this metadata preset or template, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the import dialog. I apply my preset to photos automatically as I'm importing them. Over here in the Apply During Import section, we have the metadata dropdown. I'll click on the dropdown, and you can see my copyright template for 2013. I'm gonna show you how you can update one. I'm also gonna show you how you can create a new one. For my use, I'm gonna create a new 2014 one and keep my 2013 one in case I come across more 2013 photos that I'm gonna import or wanna apply this copyright to. I'll click on New and I'll give the preset a name. I'll call this LS Copyright 2014. Now you could get overwhelmed with all of the fields in here. Most of them you're just gonna ignore. You're gonna come down to the IPTC Copyright section and fill in the copyright box. Now for the copyright symbol, I'm just gonna use parentheses around a C. If you're on a Mac, you can use the shortcut Option G to add the copyright symbol. If you're on a PC, it gets more complicated. If you have a numeric keypad on your keyboard to the right, you can hold down the Alt key, type 0169 with it held down, and then let go, and it will give you a copyright symbol. The US Copyright Office recommends that you include the year in your copyright notice. So I'll put 2014, and then my name. I'll change the copyright status here to copyrighted. And I'm not a lawyer, so I can't really advise you on rights usage terms, but I like to put all rights reserved. If you have specific rights usage terms for specific users, you could include a URL to a page on your website that spells those out. I'm gonna skip that, scroll down a little bit more to the IPTC creator section. I'll put in my name in the creator field, and then I want to add enough contact information that people can get in touch with me if they come across my photos and want to use them. In my case, I'm just going to add my email address and my website. That's all I need to fill out. I'll go ahead and click on Create, and you can see that by default, the preset that I just created is the one selected here in the metadata dropdown. Now as I import new photos, that copyright information will automatically be applied. Now if you want to update an existing preset rather than create a new one, you can go to Edit Presets, and then from the dropdown here, you can select that preset, make your changes. So I'll go ahead and put my middle initial here in my 2013 one. And then once you've edited it, you can choose from the dropdown Update Preset. I'm not going to choose to do that. I'm simply going to close this box and then cancel out of the import dialog. Now that you know how to create a preset and apply it to new photos as you import them, I want to show you how to apply those presets to photos that you already have here in Lightroom that don't yet have your copyright and contact information. First, I'll show you how to see the information on a photo that does have it. So with this photo selected here in the library module, I'll open up the metadata panel by clicking on the sideways triangle here, and I'll change the view here to IPTC. Now I can see my creator information, I can see my contact information, and then as I scroll down more, I can see the copyright status and the rest of the copyright information. Now the rest of the photos here in the film strip don't have that copyright information. If I want to add it to multiple photos at once, I need to go to Grid View. Next, I'll select the photos that I want to apply the information to. So I've got the controller command key down, and I'm going to click on the other photos here that don't have that information. Next, here in the metadata panel, I'll scroll up to the top, and I'll choose the preset that I want to apply from the list here. 
These were actually 2013 photos. I'll select LS Copyright 2013. Now it's asking me, do I want to apply this preset to all the photos that I have selected or just the brightest one in this selection or the active one? In fact, I want it applied to all selected. Now, as I choose an individual photo by clicking in the gray border, we can see the 2013 information has been applied to it. So that's how to create a copyright preset and apply it to your photos. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Visit my blog for lots more free Lightroom tutorials and tips. While you're there, do check out my Lightroom workshops on video for comprehensive Lightroom training for both beginners and experienced users. Finally, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel to hear about new videos. I'm Laura Shue.